Hey ho YouTube, Rocky here again. Today we're going to do some messing around with some emulators in Ubuntu. That's Linux. This is Ubuntu 10.10, Maverick Meerkat. So, we're going to have a look at an Amiga emulator, how to install it. Now, first thing is we go to Ubuntu Software Center. Takes a few moments to load up here. About more than a few moments, it'll take a wee minute or two to load. And I'll probably run a bit slower because I'm using a screen capture device here to take... Um, screen caps everything I'm actually doing. Once it does load sometime this century, here we go. Now there's a couple of options. I believe we type in Amiga. It should bring it up. Yeah, here we go. Now we've got E U A E and we've got U A E. All you do is just click on them, uh, select install and it installs. I've got both of them installed at the moment. We're going to be messing with U A E. There seems to be a few more options now. It doesn't work quite as well as um, something like, say, uh, when you and Amiga uh, in the old Windows side, or, you know, that's stuff that comes with uh, things like Amiga Forever. In fact, if you're interested in Amiga emulation, buy Amiga Forever, because then you can legally own the ROMs. Startup ROMs that you need. I'm not going to tell you how to get them, but Google is your friend type thing. So, to run it, we go to UAE. And I'm presented with a lovely little window here. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to select the ROM. So, now as you can see, I've already got it set to my desktop. So, it picks up this ROM here. So, it's Kickstart uh, 2.04 for the 500 Plus. Yes, it is there. How good's that? So, we've got various options here. Next, obviously, the floppy. So, we'll insert a floppy disk. Insert, we'll just drag and drop it in. Ah! 92 now RAM uh, obviously a standard 500 plus comes up meg uh, CPU now there's various options in here I'm going to select 68,000 which is the original CPU inside the Amiga now CPU speed this is the speed of the emulation um, this will make it run at pretty much top whack or you can try to you know run it pretty much as an Amiga would run it graphics now full screen mode doesn't work the greatest but that was it. Yeah. Sound. Yeah, correct. Input devices. Now, I've got it set up to. I'm using a just a stamp. Well, it's a third-party Mad Cats retro controller for the PS2 that's linked to the PC via a USB converter thing. But any sort of USB device will do fine. You can set up hard disks, which is a quite good feature. So we just let reset, like resetting the Amiga. Pop up a new window here. As obviously you can tell us, you can see the drive lights at the bottom, red being the power light, first light being the disk access. So from Playbyte, there you go software, a loading, ah, oh. ah, oh, it's a prehistoric taxi game, great fun, hours of fun, pretty much in every format known to man, but never mind. Press button, so we press the button on my controller. I don't know how well you can hear that's coming through my PC speakers. Ooh. So if I want to start the game. Yeah, yeah, bug of the intro. Level 1, introducing. So we play as a little prehistoric taxi. Now, as I warned you, this might run a bit slower. No, it seems to run pretty well. So, the option is... You land your taxi, and the man will tell us where I want to go. He wants to go to number three. So he gets aboard. Eee. Okay. Now let's try full screen, which is you push F12 and S. Um, hopefully you can still be able to see this, but it is still running at full screen. Game it's a bit off center, but it's running pretty well. I'll put it back to windowed, which is again F12 and S. Yes, that's quite a good fun game. <laughs> I'd like to sit and play this for a while, which I probably will do. I think he was number one, I wasn't actually paying much attention there. Obviously there's a lot of messing around. As I said, Amiga emulation doesn't work as well in Linux as it does in Ami in like PC. But it still definitely does work. Now this is still act this window here is still active while we're playing about in this, so for example, if I do floppies, eject the floppy, then just hit reset on the machine, it will boot to the ROM screen. Like so. If 
familiar to any Mega fan there. Again, ah, the good old 2.0 oh, Workbench 2.0. Bryce, some rather developed that. Anyway, that's a quick look at Amiga emulation on Linux, specifically Ubuntu, Ubuntu 1010 Maverick Meerkat. Hope you found this useful, he says. Um, catch you next time, YouTube. Thanks very much for watching, and goodbye.